Okay, have you got all kinds of quotes or artwork that your kids have made that you don't want to frame them, but you want to protect them and tuck them away or maybe um, use a magnet, put them up on the fridge, but you don't want them to get dirty. I'm going to show you two different ways that you can laminate at home. Really simple, really easy. And I'm going to do this um, colored pencil crayon picture that my daughter did for me. And I'm going to do this quote. I thought this would be really nice to laminate. If you wanted to take it into work, you could put it up on a board at work with a little pin. Um, lots of ideas that you can do with these laminated uh, pieces after you're finished. Two methods. Let's do the first one. The first thing we're going to do is get our surface ready. I'm going to use my um, Cricut Easy Press, uh, but you can use your normal um, household iron and ironing board. That works just as well, too. I'm going to put a paper, uh, tea towel down just to protect my Cricut foam. I don't want to get anything on it. And then the next thing you're going to do is you need some parchment paper. You're going to put one piece of parchment paper down on top of the tea towel, and then you're going to take your um, picture, your colored picture, and the first one is a Ziploc bag. Now, my Ziploc bags, I only had the ones with the writing on the back, but I actually don't mind this because after you laminate this, you could write the child's name or whoever did the picture for you and the date, and, um, and then you have a memory of that. So the first thing that we're gonna do is put this picture right in that baggie. and just push it right down to the bottom, right tight in that corner. And tuck it right up in there tight. And then you're gonna take your scissors and just cut and leave a little bit of an edge around the photo or the picture and trim it off. Okay. Now, the next thing we're going to do, make sure it's not slipping around in there, that it's up nice and tight, and you've got a little bit of extra around the edges. You're gonna take another piece of parchment paper, lay it on top. I'm gonna get my Easy Press, and I'm just gonna set it down. You don't wanna move it, because you don't want that picture to move around in that plastic bag. So I'm gonna leave it, for 30 seconds and then I'm gonna pick it up and I'm gonna move it down to the very end because it didn't quite go all the way down to the end of the picture. Okay, now we wanna flip the whole thing over. And this was a double-sided uh, picture in this coloring book. So we're gonna take that Easy press again and press from the back side. And now it's melted so you can move that easy press up and down. Make sure that plastic is melted right onto that coloring page really well. Okay. We're just gonna set it aside and let it cool down. This is completely cooled off now and you're just gonna peel away that parchment paper and you're left, sorry, that's noisy and crinkly. You're left with a coloring page that's laminated. Now what I like to do is I just like to take the scissors and just kind of trim up around the edges, make it look nice. And this one's gonna go on my fridge. I'm gonna put it on my fridge with a little magnet and I think it's gonna look really cute. Second method is cling wrap. You can use cling wrap, saran wrap. You just want to pull off two pieces, the size a little bit bigger than your actual paper. So that's the one, and then we're gonna get a second one. Same size again. Okay. And of course, cling wrap is cling wrap and it sticks to everything. So we're going to lay the first one down on the parchment paper. We're gonna put our, our print on top of that, 
smooth it out really well. And then we're gonna take that second piece and lay it on top. Now this is, I mean, a lot of people maybe have, oh, that one I got kind of crinkled up. So we're gonna do another one. Um, some people may have a laminator at home. I don't. So this is a pretty good alternative to doing it quick and affordably at home. I do know that you can sometimes at the dollar store find the laminating pouches, but I don't always find them there at mine. So this is works just as good for what I'm trying to achieve. So you wanna make sure you've got it nice and flat. You don't want any wrinkles or creases in your cling wrap. It can kind of be a bugger getting them all out. Just take your time though and press them all out. Okay, I've got it all smoothed out and I'm gonna cut off the extra and leave a little bit around the edges and make it nice and neat and tidy before we press it. These are also great if you have something that you have to keep in your purse or your wallet um, and you don't want it to get wet and you wanna protect it, you can do these methods on that. Um, if you're going hiking and you have a map that you wanna take with you and you don't wanna just have the piece of paper stuck in your back pocket, you wanna protect it from the rain or the elements, this works great for that too. Okay, we've got all the edges cut off. And again, I'm just gonna make sure I got them nice and flat. This one's a little bit trickier to get it ready than the Ziploc bag method, but it still works really good. We're gonna put the parchment paper on top and then we're gonna press it the exact same way that we did this, the first one. Okay, this is all cool. We're gonna take off the parchment paper and peel it off and then trim around the edges. Now, of course, this isn't as perfect as if you were using a laminator and doing it that way, but in a pinch and you want to save a document or protect a nice little art piece for a kid, one of your kids, this works fantastic. Trim that all up. And what a beautiful reminder to hang up somewhere on your, uh, on a board or take it to work and hang it up at work. So there you have two different ways to laminate paper on a budget. So if you have pictures from your grandkids or your kids and you wanna save them, try this out. Thanks for watching and I hope you enjoyed the video and we'll see you in the next one. Have a great day.